Today on Monkey and Mezzakeen, it is Question and Answer Wednesday, where I, the idiot, try to answer your questions about your dog. So, grab your cup of coffee, and we'll get into this here in just a minute. I am not a trained professional. <laughs> I am not a tr dog trainer of any sort professionally. I am not a professional dog psychologist or anything like that. I'm just a normal guy that loves dogs and I like to answer questions if I can. All my questions are opinionated, so um, you know you can fact check me later if you want or however you want to do it. But today, let's just grab our cup of coffee and we'll get into this. We got two or three questions that we're going to answer. And then um, I got a couple other things I'm gonna, well actually the other two things are part of the question. So anyway, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, so let's get into this. Question number one, got your copy? All right. The question was, and I've gone over this in my mind lots of times to figure out how to word it properly, so just bear with me. Um, why does my female mount my male? So, um, there's like two or three different things that could be going on. Number one, as always, it's more than likely that um, it's kind of a dominant thing. Sometimes a female dog can be more dominant than the male dog. So, you know, that could be like the number one answer to that. And you can train them out of doing that. And even if it's a male that's doing that, you can, you can actually train them to stop doing that. It just takes some time, so. Um, that's where you'd have to get a hold of professional or your vet or something like that. So, um, then also there is, um, this is where it gets tricky, um, where the female dog is at an excitement level. So let's say it's that heating cycle time. Um, sometimes they will do that to show the male that she's ready. And then sometimes it is, um, how do you call self? satisfying um, and don't don't think that I'm telling you this as a professional I'm telling you this as um, stuff I've experienced in the past with the dogs and stuff so um, if you have questions about it you know talk to your vet or you know another professional and see what they think um, but usually during the heat cycle the female will will do that to the male so um, and then the third part of it is that sometimes a female dog gets so excited and so jacked up, just like the males do, that that's just something that they do to release that, um, that buildup of excitement. So like, for instance, when Monkey and uh, Tank get to playing around and really getting into a good little fun time with themselves, Mezzakeen will get so jacked up that she will get involved in it, but yet she turns around and tries to mount one of them because she is so excited and she's not actually involved in the play. So therefore, uh, you know, she'll do that um, more to Monkey than she will Tank because Tank won't put up with that kind of crap and uh, Monkey for some reason just whatever, but he continues to play. He doesn't care. So, um, and that also can be trained out of them. I mean, all these things can be trained out of your dog to do or to stop doing. So don't think it's like, you know, they have this mental issue. And then sometimes in a very, very rare case, you may have to talk to your, uh, to your vet and possibly I'm not saying absolutely, but possibly a dog might have some kind of hormonal imbalance. So, um, that's my opinion. That's my answer, so um, take them as you will, but nine times out of 10, just kind of watch your seasonal for it, and then also watch just how um, your dog is um, presenting itself to another dog. If it's in that dominant stage, then more likely it's a dominant move, and you can train it. If it's just a playful thing and she goes to town, um, <laughs> You know, it just might be um, her heat cycles in and she's ready. And then again, it could just be the overexcitement of place. So, you know, take it as you will. Um, 
if you have questions, find a professional trainer, find a vet that you trust and ask them about it and go from there. So let's go on to question number dos or two. All right, question number two. Yes, we did get an email finally and I will be posting it right along here. Right here somewhere, should be about there. <laughs> And uh, if you have questions that you want to, you know, send to me, go ahead and send them. Um, if you have just stuff that, you know, like pictures of your pets that you want to share with us, that's fine. If you want me to repost some of your pets' pictures in our videos, I'll be more than happy to do that. Add them up in a little square, like right up in this area or something. So, uh, yeah, just go ahead and uh, contact us. Any questions you got and all that stuff. So... That is question number two. Yes, we do have the email set up. It is ready to go today. Um, so yeah, like I said, right here will be the will be the deal. I don't know how to put all that stuff down in the bottom and stuff, so I, it's just going to be right here on the video. So um, that's all I got for that. So there you go. We got the email. It'll be. Um, Monkey 50 Mazikeen, all lowercase, and it's at gmail.com. So, like I said, right there. So, during this entire time, it's just going to be right here. So, <laughs> anyway, let's move on to question number three. Okay, so question number three. Am I really giving out t-shirts when I hit the 2000 mark? Yes, I really am going to give out two free t-shirts. Um, I don't have a screen printer set up or anything like that. I will find one. I will have these shirts specially made. Um, this will be the logo that we're going to make. We'll probably have it on the back. And then we'll, well, this part will probably be on the back or something. And I don't know. We haven't made up our mind on that part yet. But that is the basic design. So this is something that my daughter came up with, which is pretty cool. Um, I am actually literally going to take Mezzakeen and Monkey's foots and put them in a little ink and put it, well, it'll be safe ink, so you probably won't want to wash the shirt, but anyway, um, I'm going to put them down on the lower part edge of the t-shirt or maybe one on each sleeve. Not sure, but that will be a special signature from them. And, uh, that's only if we hit that 2000 subscriber mark, I'm not going to just, you know make up a bunch of shirts and just give them out nilly willy. We actually have to get this channel endorsed a little bit. So once we hit the 2000 subscribers, I am going to just randomly pick two people and they're going to get shirts. I'm going to make a video about it, tell you who you are. You can contact us on the email so we can, you know, figure out how to get the shirts to you and stuff like that. And then, um, after we hit the 2000 mark, for every 500 subscribers after that, I am going to pick two people again and just randomly and send out shirts to. So, um, you know, they on YouTube, they won't let you sell merchandise until you've hit 10,000 subscribers. So this is just my way of thanking all the people that do subscribe to me. And, um, you know, not everybody's going to get a free shirt. I'm sorry about that. You know, I'd like to be able to, but I'm... I, I just can't do that. So, um, but that's my plan. So for every two, when we hit that 2000 mark, definitely two shirts are going to be given away to random people. And, um, like I said, then after 2000, when we hit 2,500, we'll do two more. When we hit three, we'll do two more and it'll just be a revolving thing. So for however long we get to stay here and chat with everybody and keep making these videos for everyone. So anyway, enjoy your day and always remember to always, always, always take care of your pups. It's amazing how you show up every time I say that. All right. Have a good day.